Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. If you fish for catfish sooner or later, you're going to need a sinker. And in this video, we're going to talk about the seven sinkers that you have to choose from. Well, folks, no matter what type of fishing you do, whether it's from the bank or from a boat, sooner or later, you're going to need a sinker when you're fishing for catfish. Now, granted, there are times when people will freeline baits for catfish, but the majority of the time, they need a sinker of some type to get their baits below the surface and most of the time on the bottom. Now, if you're new to chasing catfish and you go to a tackle store and you start to pick out a sinker, you realize there's a lot of options. If you jump online, you'll find even more. So what we're going to do in this video is go over some of the different types of sinkers, what their applications are, how they work, and hopefully that will help you decide which one is best for you. Now the great thing in this video is that you're not just getting my opinion, but you're getting the opinion of a guy that probably knows sinkers better than anybody else out there, and that is Nate Davis from Tackle Bandit. Now Tackle Bandit is a virtual online tackle store that sells everything you could possibly need for catching catfish. The cool thing is, is that the entire store and the entire brand was built around sinkers, with Nate making his own sinkers there in his shop and he knows them better than anyone else. Now the first sinker I ask him about is one that is near and dear to my heart because I do a lot of drifting, dragging, and trolling for catfish, and that is a drifting sinker. I asked Nate what a drifting sinker is, how you describe it, and this is what he had to say. So drifting sinkers, the most basic is a pencil sinker. It's a solid lead long sinker, um, and with that, that is one you can, with all the ones like that we make, you can curve it to make it a, you know, to make it somewhat of a shape like this to where it'll drag across and keep it. Um, some guys break them and make them a hard L. I don't really understand the, the ins and outs of it, but they're a, they're a more snagless style sinker. They're longer and they should pull through brush, rocks, snags better than like a bank sinker or something else that will get snagged. Now, if you watch my channel, you know there's another type of drifting weight and that is the flexible drifting weight, snake weights, worm weights, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I use the ones from Bone Town Catfishing. They bend and they're flexible. There's a lot of other people that make them and uh, they're a good alternative to some of the stiffer uh, solid lead weights. Uh, each of these drifting weights have their place and their application. A lot of it depends on the type of bottom that you're fishing. Uh, but the flexible weights are another one to keep in mind. Now one that I use and is a little more common and more readily available in tackle stores and even your local Walmart is a bank sinker. I use them for a lot of different purposes and this is what Nate has to say about bank sinkers. A bank sinker is kind of like to me it's the first sinker that I, that I imagine was invented. Um, it's a teardrop type shape with a lead eye. Um, it's, one, it's one of those that guys use them for everything from they run their line through the eye, they clip it on with the hook or with the, uh, the dual clips. Um, sinker slides, they'll tie it directly on for a three-way rig. It's the all-around basic sinker. Um, it's one of the easiest to make, um, and that's it's just one of those that everybody has. A very popular sinker with people who fish a Carolina rig is a no-roll sinker. It is what the name implies, and here's Nate's description of it. So a no-roll weight is an inline weight with a hole through the center of it, um, and with that, it allows your line to slip through. There's pros and cons of it. The nice thing is, is it does not get snagged as much because it's literally on your line. The bad thing is, is it abras it's very abrasive with braid. Now another odd one, that can be somewhat hard to find and it's why it's great to have a place like Tackle Bandit where you can order these things from and that's a pencil sinker. Here's how he describes how they are used. Pencil weight specifically used for dragging. Um, some guys use it for suspending like the cannonball sinkers. Um, they're a real versatile, one of those things that is really good for dragging. They're inexpensive to, to buy and lose compared to um, like handmade dragging sinkers. Now the next one is probably the most common sinker that you will find. It's the first one that I remember as a kid encountering. They come in a variety of sizes and it's called an egg sinker. An egg sinker is really similar to a no roll sinker with a sense that it is, it looks like an egg with a hole through the center and that's allowed for a lot of guys use it suspending for striper fishing, hybrids, um, or they use them on the rivers as well um, to just allow your line to slip through it if it needs to. Now another sinker that's kind of hard to find, kind of specialized, but a lot of people like using them 
and that is the coin sinker. A coin sinker is a round sinker that's somewhat flat, almost like a donut looking with a brass eye on it. And um, that allows you to clip, use a duo clip or a sinker slide to easily take on and off what you need. You can easily change the size. The nice thing with a coin sinker is uh, I'm a bank fisherman. That's what I grew up doing. Um, I still prefer bank fishing really if I can get out and do it. Um, I can switch out sinkers. I can go from you know utilizing a sinker slide to having a two ounce sinker fish in a lake. I can go fish a river with current and throw an eight or 10 ounce on there and not have an issue. Or if I decide to go drifting that day with a buddy, throw a pencil sinker on there and I'm good to go. Now the last one's a little bit different and uh, that is a cannonball sinker. It's similar to a lot of the different sinkers that we've talked about, but there are some unique differences and characteristics that make it a somewhat specialized sinker. Cannonball is just a round sinker with a brass eye on it. A lot of guys use them drifting. Uh, that was the way I, orig I originally found out that guys were using them. Um, anything past that, they're using a back bump and down rivers. Um, and then there's kind of an all around, just whatever they can use. Just That's how most sinkers are, is sometimes they'll use whatever they got, they'll modify it and just make it work. Well, there you go, folks. That's a good explanation of what the different types of sinkers are that you're going to encounter and how they may be used. Hopefully this gives you some information that you can use to make a better decision. And it may actually uh, enlighten you as to some other options that are out there and hopefully get you out in the water and catching more fish. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're going to like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No. No, do, do that one first and then that one. Uh, I don't know. Just watch them both. They're both good.